Danny, how'd you get your start in boxing? How did I come fighting? Yeah. Yes. Well, my brother Patty was a, a, a fighter. He had a few fights. Undefeated, four fights he had undefeated, but it's great. I used to go up to the gym and watch him. And uh, I, I like boxing. I always, I always liked boxing before I went up there. I would just watch my brother, uh, uh, you know, get started. Tell me about your Uncle Patsy. My Uncle Patty, no, number one contender. He went into the service, he come out, he was in the same. Right, right. He had yeah. four years in the service. He went to New Caledonia. And uh, he's good. He, my uncle was a great fighter. I followed him. Let me right by with my man here. My cornermen were Freddie Brown and Whitey Bimstein. Great. They were great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole team was a great team. Hey, my father is Danny Giovanelli, uh, ex-fighter, welterweight in the 50s. He had uh, 40 pro fights. He was 30 wins, 9 losses, 1 draw. He's going to be 91 this coming Thursday. He's in pretty good health and no major problems. Outside, he's uh, hard of hearing, so I have to get in close to his ear to let him hear me. And um, other than that, he's pretty good. His mind is still sharp, thank God, after the fights he had. And uh, we, we really have a great uh, relationship. My father died uh, February 2nd, 1952, when my father passed. I took control of my mother, my mother, and my two sisters. I, I, you know, helped them, helped them out. I supported them a little bit. Stop making money. I was doing that right, but I took, I took care of my mother and two sisters. Danny, you turned pro in 1951 at the Ridgewood Grove. Tell me about turning pro, and you had many, many fights at Ridgewood Grove. Talk about that. Jimmy Carabella, that's his name. Right. <laughs> first fight. Knocked him out in the first round. I fought at Richard Grove 13 times. I used to walk from my house to Richard Grove. In 1954, I fought Mike Colucci. That was the last fight in Richard Grove. Richard Grove was a great arena. Great of me. What was your first ten round bout? My first ten rounder, I fought Danny Joe Perez. Nice kid. Good fight. The win over Vince Martinez was a breakthrough fight for you. Tell me about that night. I fought the Martinez in the garden. I was a substitute for Tigo Vidya. Okay. He went to the service. And I substituted for him. I beat him on the in 10, ten rounds. A great fight. A great fight. I, uh, when he played the Star Spangled Banner, I stood there so proud and so strong. I gave Vince Martinez a boxing lesson. He was a good fighter, Vince. When you reach the uh, Madison Square Garden, uh, it's a great feeling. You feel great. What was your next big fight after that? I uh, 13 in a row. Then I fought the uh, Fiori, Carmine Fiori, in the garden. I was a three to one favorite to beat him, but I was decision. I, I lost my fight. I didn't fight my fight. I fought his fight. Whatever. But it's beside the point. I'm not coming no plea. He beat me. Who was the toughest guy you fought? I fought a lot of tough fighters. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me about Joe Maselli. Joe Maselli was a very good fighter. 
He had some good fights, great fights. He, he was another than a top contender. A lot of good fighters, great fighters. We became good friends after that. Me and Joe Mancelli were good friends. They had, they had that fight, and he was a great fighter. And uh, a great personality. When I was a kid, I didn't realize anything about him being a fighter. I used to hear, oh, my, your father was a fighter, he was a good fighter, this and my family. But I didn't know, he was my father. Until I was about 14, 15, I started getting involved and I found a suitcase in the basement and it had a ton of uh, clippings and pictures and I went through it and forget about it, I was hooked. He, uh, he fought Danny Joe Perez twice, he beat him twice. The highlight of his career was a big um, win over uh, Vince Martinez. He was like the number three contender. Um, but he, he fought some tough fighters, Joe Maselli, and uh, he beat Gene Poya twice. Fought Carmen Fiore, who fought Carmen Basilio. He was a rough customer in the ring. He went out to California, fought Art Aragon. Aragon said, where'd you get this guy from? He was, he was a great father. He took me everywhere. And I had um, all these opportunities to meet these people. Jake LaMotta, Graziano, uh, great fighters, Carmen Basilio. And, um, and it was just a great life. And he lived a great life. And uh, the guy's 91, and he's still going strong. And uh, we all love him. You know, He was close to a championship, but um, he didn't get the championship. But he's our champ. We... Um, you know, we celebrate him every day, and he, he loves his family. He's a family guy and very humble, very unassuming, don't walk around. You would never know. When he was fighting, he was so good looking. I Believe me when I tell you, they tell you, they never thought he was a fighter. Your father's life is like a rubber band. You stretch it, you stretch it, you stretch it, till it's bothers. But Bobby, all in all, I had a great career. Yeah, I'll do it all over again. Boxing was great. Boxing made me what I am today. A broken down police. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him.